Hello, my name is Mike and welcome to my channel, The Long Way Home. Um, the purpose of this channel is mostly going to be to cover uh, some of my adventures as I'm hiking uh, the Continental Divide Trail this year, uh, the CDT. Um, but what kind of got me to doing that this year uh, is just kind of my background in, in enjoying the outdoors. And so I guess that, that started out when I was a kid uh, growing up in Wisconsin. And I had a lot of opportunities to be outdoors. I would throw food in a duffel bag, put a tire tarp in there, grab some rope, walk off into the woods, um, and spend a few days out there camping. And uh, you know, luckily I had the kind of parents that didn't go nuts when I didn't show up for a couple days. Um, they kind of got used to it. Um, but that just kind of is the foundation of my interest in being in the outdoors and, and uh, just really enjoying it. And so from there, uh, I was introduced to the Boundary Waters Canoe Area. up in the northern part of Minnesota, um, between Minnesota and Canada. And that really gave me an opportunity to um, see what it's like or experience some remote um, camping, some remote hiking, fishing, things like that. And my first couple experiences were on a guided trip. So I was a passenger. I, my responsibility was uh, paddling somewhere and maybe setting up a tent. Um, but each time I went up and, and got better, I got to, into planning my own trips. Um, getting my own gear together, um, leading trips for uh, myself and my wife, uh, myself and my daughter. Um, and it really, uh, again, uh, solidified this foundation of exploring the outdoors. And it gave me uh, some building blocks for some skills. On, on how to be outdoors and, and how to enjoy it and what you need and the planning and, and things like that. Um, and then as I got involved uh, in my career, that kind of slowed down. Uh, kids came along and uh, that just created another opportunity for me to get outdoors, um, specifically spending a lot of time hiking on the Superior Hiking Trail in northern Minnesota with my son, Josh. Um, I myself have probably almost 200 miles on the Superior Hiking Trail and, and uh, again that's those are adventure oriented uh, trips some of them are day trips uh, some of them are overnight trips some of them were several day trips um, or several overnights and so uh, that kind of kept me going and kept that fire burning uh, until I was getting close to re retirement, until the point in my career where um, I'm going to hang it up and now I'm going to have some time to really focus on hiking and being outdoors. And that launched this whole uh, rabbit hole thing of the PCT, the Pacific Crest Trail. Uh, and I spent about five years prior to my retirement planning um, Exploring the trail, uh, learning how to use apps, learning how to use the GPS navigation, um, just kind of becoming familiar with the trail. Um, and so when I retired in 2019, I attempted a through hike of the Pacific Crest Trail. And I say attempted because I only made it 620 miles. And I, I shouldn't say only. It's not, it, it wasn't a bad experience. 620 miles was a fantastic experience. Um, and what that did is it just lit a fire in me for long trails, uh, outdoor exploring, the whole process, the planning, um, the resupplies, the gear, um, all these things came together. And it's like this perfect storm and I was hooked. Um, and part of being hooked was the people. Uh, the people that I've come across since I was a, a kid uh, up until the PCT. Um, it's been an amazing experience with each time I meet someone, um, whether it's someone who's not a hiker, uh, who helps me out, trail angel, 
uh, or fellow hikers who you know I've learned a lot of things from. Uh, some of them have become almost like family. I, I keep in contact with people uh, that I hiked with on the PCT. I wouldn't say daily, but uh, some uh, we communicate indirectly through uh, say Instagram or things like that uh, daily, but direct direct um, person to person contact uh, maybe once every couple months, but they, they're basically like family at this point. And, and so after that experience on the PCT, um, I came home a, a little beat up. Um, my knees were sore, uh, my back was sore, I was, I was having some physical problems, and, and it, um, it just it wasn't an overall healthy experience for my body. And so uh, at that time, my wife was getting into um, whole food, plant-based, vegan diets, um, kind of changing her lifestyle and, and the way she uh, fuels her body and she was talking about how good it made her feel and at that point I you know I came home from the PCT in a little bit better shape um, than I've been in the past uh, as far as my weight um, but when Angie was uh, changing to this vegan uh, diet uh, I was weighing 218 pounds um, I was not, food did not miss me anyway, and not, and it was not healthy food. And so she introduced me to this and gave me an opportunity to learn about um, what food can do for you and how important it is the things that you're uh, putting in your body and, and what the results of that are. And so I told her, okay, I'll give, I'll, I'll try your fad here, your veganism for a couple weeks and see what it does. By day two, I, I by day two, I had zero inflammation in my knees, gone. Um, I felt great, um, and then as I kept going, uh, pounds started dropping off, and just little things started um, working for me better. So physically I felt better, mentally I felt better. Um, I was feeling a little more confident because I was uh, looking healthier, feeling healthier, um, and I felt good about the choices I was making, the, the things I was eating. and. As I felt better, I became more confident in my ability to go back out and do some long distance hiking and, and see what that would mean for me. And, and so I started doing small hikes around home like I, I typically do and I was just feeling really good after those, those hikes. Um, and then that led me to thinking I should get back on, on the PCT. And about the time that thought entered my, my mind, um, COVID hit and the whole hiking thing just kind of took a dump. Um, we're all restricted to being at home. It's kind of a bummer, uh, but it is what it is. You know, we have a responsibility to the people around us. So um, I put that on hold, the PC, whole PCT thing on hold. And now as things started to loosen up again, uh, I started planning out um, what I might do again for a long distance hike. And, and California and PCT and COVID and all this kind of stuff were in this uh, perfect storm of indecision. I mean, you, you, you couldn't count on it, you couldn't plan on it, they weren't opening up permits. Um, and so I said, well, what else is there? Uh, I could stick near home um, and hike the Spear Hiking Trail, the SHT. Um, I could look at the AT, I could look at uh, just, you know, doing all these different things. And when I, when it came down to it, I, and I'm, the triple crown is like way back here in my mind. And it's not up here even yet. It's way back here. But I thought this is another piece of it. Um, why not give the Continental Divide Trail, the CDT, a shot? And so that, and that's what I did. I, um, it, it finally kind of, it had to enter my heart as something I wanted to do. It just couldn't be floating up, up here in my head as an idea. It had to be something you really want to do because um, these long trails are something you not only commit to physically, but you got to commit to mentally. Um, it's just a whole, it's like a whole body experience. You got to do, you know, entirely commit to it. And then that's what I did. That's, um, what I chose to do with the Continental Divide Trail. And it, and it really kind of got in my blood the more I looked into it. Um, and so 
I feel good about that. I feel good about my, my chances of um, hiking in a healthful way, um, maintaining that vegan diet. And so what I, what I want to profile here uh, with this channel is outdoor experiences, um, mostly focusing on hiking or um, remote wilderness experiences while maintaining that vegan diet and that, that healthy lifestyle and how that translates to an overall better outdoor experience. And so that's what I, I aim to share with you here. Um, and this is gonna start with the CDT. Um, the, the slogan for the CDT is embrace the brutality. Uh, and then that's what I'm gonna do. Um, there's a, a guy that I hiked a number of miles with on the PCT in 2019. He's starting the same day, uh, the CDT, the same day I am. We're actually going to be on the same shuttle uh, down to the southern terminus. So we're, I'm looking forward to that. We're going to meet up. Um, uh, I'm getting there on the 6th. Uh, we're going to uh, chill together uh, on the 7th. Um, and then we're going to hit the trail on, on the 8th. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, there's another guy who uh, I've not met yet, but we were both on the PCT uh, at the same time, uh, and, and we both have a, a similar background, and so w uh, while on trail we were communicating, and we've kind of built this uh, loose relationship um, around, centered around a kind of our career, or our former careers, uh, but mostly around hiking, and, and so he's starting the day after me, and so I've been in contact with him, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, the opportunity to meet face-to-face -face with him and, and become involved with him and what his um, hiking life has brought him and, and kind of share some of that with him. So that's going to be cool. Um, so that's where this is headed. And I, you know, if, if you think you're interested in that, and I sure hope you are, I mean, I'm, I guess that's why you're here, uh, make sure you click your subscribe button and hit your notifications so that when I put up new content um, coming up here, uh, you're going to get notified that it's up. And with that being said, my next video is going to discuss the whole resupply strategy, what that looks like, um, resupply boxes, what I'm putting in them um, as far as vegan foods, what uh, options are as far as once you're on trail, um, and how that's going to work for me as as I'm traveling uh, so I'm gonna kind of hopefully provide some useful information that if you're interested in vegan hiking or healthful hiking uh, you can use and put to use in uh, in your outdoor adventures healthy outdoor adventures um, so stay tuned for the next video on my resupply what's in it click the subscribe button I really hope you do and uh, we'll see you on the next video.